Hi, hello, it is me, Nibs, and I'm in a new recording area, and I'm in live right now, so, yes. Um, so, this is my Inktober sketchbook, if you didn't read, from last year, and I wanted to show you guys this since it's just about to be spooky season. Literally, tomorrow is October 1st. Well, not of recording, but... <laughs> It's Wednesday when I'm recording this, but when I'm uploading it, it'll be October tomorrow. So, yes, let's let's uh let's get into it. So, I actually kept a little Inktober list, and I did do Inktober, which is by a specific YouTuber, but I forget what their name is. I don't follow them anymore, but I used to a tiny bit. Not really would watch them on occasion and so i just decided to do theirs as well so there are a few drawings that aren't like inktober based and then these are just the list of drawing and the only one i didn't do was the very last one so i never actually finished this inktober but here's my cover art i was really proud of this at the time except for i remember i hated the hand looking at it it's absolutely horrendous and I never added a finish date. Now, this is not an official sketchbook or anything. This is specifically an Inktober sketchbook. And I remember when I was doing it, I was like, yeah, no, this is not. This is not an official sketchbook. It was just specifically for Inktober because I had a sketchbook at the time. I was on sketchbook uh, number four. So starting off pretty strong with Gargoyle. And I mean, it's. It's interesting. I was using this page as a planning page, which later on I can't do because I realized that I was running out of pages more rapidly. I think the worst thing would be the wings. These legs are quite interesting. I don't know how the thigh ratio is this much to this much normal leg. Like, just about right there. It's still an interesting drawing. Um, I remember even at the time, I really didn't like this one. I just thought it turned out really bad, and I can I can see why. This was for Scurry, and Girl Scout costume. Oh, I think I was doing my actual costume planning in here. Ah, here are bats. And then I had, I didn't, I wanted to do, like, a vintage movie cover, so I just did 1995 vintage like bats movie i know there's an actual like vampires bat one but i decided to do my own because why not i mean it's my inktober run so of course i'm going to try to be more original and then i just drew some bats on that side um this was for scallop i didn't really want to draw seashell so i was going to try to make a scallop like theme dress and I do really like this weird dotted thing right there. That is pretty neat. But her, her legs, they're just like, do, and then just like, boom. And I, no offense to anyone who draws their legs like this. It's just, for me, I don't think it works. It just doesn't work for me personally. Um, This one was for Flame. And this one's actually pretty on point. I thought about it and I, I was... I was like, you know, a, like a flame cheerleader would be fun. So I have all these like different things. There's going to be a volcano maybe. But then I just decided that this was the best option. Ah, this was for a bouquet. I actually still really kind of like this one. Specifically like the mouth and eyes. I think it's pretty interesting. And if you notice, all the flowers are pretty much eyes. Like even this one is like a, a Pikachu eye, which I think is fun. Well, I guess that one's not an eye, but it's a broken heart. So I guess they're all kind of a body part except for the pot if you notice there's like a really expensive pot because that's what i was gonna do maybe so 760 dollars i guess um here was for trip trip was number seven and uh this one is it's okay but it definitely was not like it's the legs they get me right now but this like particular drawing inspired me a lot and so that's when I started wanting to learn to draw braids more. This was from Match and this is where my obsession with drawing two characters that look very similar do like some pose that matches each other and stuff. And this was also one of the first times I learned how to draw holding hands. These aren't very great, 
um, there should be a thumb, like, right there, but, hey, it was, like, my first time. Also, what, what are these Dr. Seuss hands? And, of course, the legs are absolutely horrendous, but I think it's good for match. Um, I don't do this as much anymore, but I used to. And then this was for October, and this was just pumpkin. So, pumpkin week one, because each one was for one, one time a week, and so I, I just did pumpkin. I don't think I ended up ever finishing October, and I only did pencil for those ones. <clears throat> this is nest. This was the, the prompt nest, and so I was, I thought about a bee nest, a lot of bird nests, because that's, that's the one I think about the most, so I just made my own kind of little creature, and I think it's kind of fun. To be honest, I do really like these drippy patterns. This was kind of when I learned I like to draw drips. This was uh, crabby, but I was thinking about it, and it was like, a little crabby could be fun, and I was doing it, like, like, doing different people that looked like a crab, and then I just decided to do Krabby from Pokemon. And this isn't a bad drawing, but it isn't the greatest, and I thought it'd be fun to do, like, the iconic where he foams around himself scene, so I just did that. Uh, this was for Eagle. Even at the time, I didn't really like this one. I couldn't, I, I just didn't know what to do, so I put the word right here, but yeah. I, I don't even know. I guess I smudged right there, too. Uh, this was for Forget. I I think I was pretty neutral about this. Oh, there's my bird. She was all fluffed up. Pearl. <laughs> Sweet baby. Ah, this was for Magical week two which was for eektober and this was when i was just like yeah no i'm not really feeling it much but i do like this card trick thing right here i think that that is pretty cool this was for kind which i like the concept it just doesn't work it like it does it just doesn't work but i had a lot of fun doing this one because i got to like i got to do like fun practice sketches and stuff this was for empty and i actually really liked the concept for this one i don't like the way it looks um but the concept is nice i think the shorts have too much detail to them but i think that was a big problem with a lot of them and also i wish i had put like more black on her design she's lacking a bit in that department this was for armadillo and <laughs> this is the most how do I say this that YouTube isn't gonna like slap a slap a thing on me? This is the most um let's just say that uh Mary Jane was at play here with that there uh that armadillo and she was not messing around and this nurse knows what she is doing. She's going to help this poor armadillo from its uh Mary Jane. Anyway, <laughs> YouTube's gonna cam me about this, but that, that's okay. Uh, here's a pink fairy armadillo, and I remember it was that, because I was going to draw a pink fairy armadillo, but I didn't. Um, this was, I did this one more in a, a little mini style, and I did foul, so I did a game coach. I originally was gonna do a bird, like a, like a bird foul, because they're called fowls sometimes. I don't know, I like, I like this concept much more, and that one's not even a bad one. Um, uh, Salty, even at the time, it looks wrong, and I think one thing that looks even worse now is I almost always draw ears for my characters, so this just looks horrendous. Also, <laughs> the legs inconsistency size is hilarious to me. This was for Scrape, and I'm not good at rollerblades now, but I'm definitely better than when this happened, and these look like they, they look like space boots to me. Oh, and this was when I realized I was running out of pages. So, this was for ponytail. So, I did a... Not sure what the fashion is, but I do like the ponytail. It's It was very much inspired by um, Mawile. And then this was for um, Bluff. So, I thought it'd be fun to do a little blood splatter maybe with some silver and just have her say oh I'll just paint um 
this technically is anatomically correct not the feet obviously it's not like really but in the position the knee was bent to be fair it's just i didn't draw them proportionately enough for it to make any sense so yeah oh i still really really like bad dog i think that the dog turned out so cute he just looks so innocent i definitely have drawn something even now so i actually really really like bad dog i think it's really cute and then this was heist and this was kind of the first time i got to draw like a bag and a cat mask and to be honest for my first time it wasn't horrible <laughs> the legs can be so bad but i i love that dog absolutely adorable ah yes booger that was an interesting one inktober team in a quite interesting one here's for fairy and i i like i like a lot of it not all of it obviously like i personally wouldn't draw the feet like this the face is a little bit smooshy but i do really like the hair and the outfit's pretty cute i do like the little heart I think that's cute, and the, it was a good idea. I like that one. This was for tempting, and then I thought it would be fun to, like, draw basically this fairy. Pretty much similar, but not definitely not the same, but pretty similar fairies for tempting. Like, she's just like, oh my goodness, you have a cupcake. Oh. And then this was for ego, so I drew a Karen, because they got a pretty big ego. Not even gonna lie, they, they got a pretty big ego. Ah, you know what, the missed an opportunity to have her, have her little purse dog. Definitely. This was for snack, and I made my own brand of snack called Pop Chip, and I thought it was really cute. I thought it would be fun to have, like, this kind of, like, hippie girl... Like, oh my goodness, an alive chip! And the chip's just like, yes. I'm here to sell my chips. <laughs> this was for camping. Just a little camping scene. This was also kind of when I learned that drawing tents is one of my favorite things in the entire world. When drawing backgrounds. Nothing else, just tents. And then this was for, uh-oh. And, uh... I think I could have done this one definitely better. Definitely. It, 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 there's something interesting about it. And then this was for gear. I don't actually know how to draw a prosthetic leg, so I'm sorry if this is offensive. I just was going off what looked kind of more sci-fi to me. So that's just kind of what it was. And then I had more space, a little bit more pages. Yeah. That is my Inktober. I guess I'll just keep it open. My Inktober sketchbook. Here, I'm just going to put it right here for now. Nope, that that is not... Nope, I, I'm just going to set it for the side. Because I'll probably end up using it in the thumbnail. So, I mentioned in my last video that I was going to talk to you guys about Inktober plans. And I decided that since I didn't finish this Inktober that I, I was looking at the Inktober prompts, and originally, I had some other ideas for them, and then I was just thinking about it, and I was like, you know, that's a lot more stress than I would really like to place on myself, so I made my own list, and I used a lot of really loose words, and I will be putting it up on Pinterest for you guys to see if you want to follow along. You don't have to. You can also follow along with the videos I'll be putting up, because I'm going to document these lovely prompts and I'm I'm very excited about it but I will put up the paper if you want to follow along you do not have to if you want like something more loose because I know sometimes Inktober is really direct about some other things like for instance armadillo eagle and so this is pretty like this is really loose like spooky you could draw pretty much any spooky thing gloomy you could draw something really like really sad really depressing but like it it gives you a lot more um a lot more to play around with some of them are a little more direct like uh prickly slimy bubbly and then some of them are just like very loose like super super loose like um 
scribbly's kind of loose because you can <laughs> i don't know i'm not great at promoting everything but like scribbly is very loose splashy is kind of more like detailed but if you want to follow along you can and i i'm very excited to do it because it took me a little bit to figure out the words so some of them i thought up more on my own some of them i just looked up the actual like an actual collection of very non-descriptive words and just kind of took some of them and then put them on the paper Anyway, um, <laughs> I know this video was a little disorganized and stuff, but, um, I hope that you guys are ready to start October, because it's literally tomorrow. Everything pretty much lined up absolutely perfectly for October, for October this year, and my brain was just like, yep, let's do this. So, yeah, I will see you later. Bye!